Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I have my favorite poetry and manga of the year 2018. And we have a timestamp so we'll start off with manga but if you want to skip right to the poetry you can skip to this time and it'll also be down below so you can just click on it and it'll go there. But starting off, I have Blue Actresses Volume 18. This series is about Rin, who is the son of Satan, and we follow him as he goes to a school to become an exorcist. His brother goes there as well as his friends, and we follow his journey as well as like the quest, not quest they go on, but like the missions. I, I don't know what you want to call them, but like the um, things they go on to like catch demons and like, you know, defeat demons, spirits, whatever. Um, it's a super fun series. It has like a comedic side to it as well and it's also just super interesting. So I love this one. I haven't talked about this one too much but that is Dream and Sun. This is actually written by the same author who did Orange which is one that I love. Um, this series isn't like the most thought-provoking or like it's not like orange level in my opinion but it is super fun and fluffy and if you're looking for something that's kind of romantic and fun and fluffy I would check this out basically it's about this girl who moves in with a bunch of boys um, as their roommate and we follow the story about how like the relationships in the house kind of form and um, we meet all the boys as well and how like she forms relationships with all of them and the different like dynamics she has with them so this series is super fun I read four volumes so far this year but yeah they're really fun. Next here I have A Silent Voice volume one. This series is about a girl who's deaf who gets bullied by this guy named Shoa and we see kind of how this this story goes and it talks it's obviously about a deaf character and it deals with bullying so it de deals with some tough subjects but it is so well done and you kind of see how uh, six years later after this whole incident happens how their relationship is and how they both have to come to terms with like what happened um so yeah this is a really interesting story i'm really excited to continue i've read the first four of these as well so yeah into um well i wanted to include with manga i want to include a graphic novel as well so i'll be talking about that and this is lighter than my shadow by katie green it's super heavy but this is basically has to do with a lot of things it has to do with depression eating disorders it's super important um and it's super insightful if you're looking for like a graphic novel about that definitely check this one out this was like a five star read for me so insightful so far powerful like you'll probably get really emotional reading this because a lot goes on but yes Next up, I just have three poetry books that I want to talk about. So first up, I have Planting Gardens and Graves Volume 1. This is by R.H. Sin, who I always talk about when I talk about poetry. Um, this collection is really great. I tabbed a lot of things in it, and it was just a good collection that came out this year. Next, we also have um, World of You by Bo Taplin. This is poetry and prose, and this was just such a good read, and it's my fir it was my first um, book by this author, and it's just so gorgeous, and the poems were really well done. Lastly, probably my favorite poetry book ever um not ever but of the year uh was the witch doesn't burn in this one by amanda lovelace this came out this year and i read it twice um this deals with like feminism and it talks about witches and all the things that i love and you like even my shirt says like witches it was just perfect for me and it has a lot of feminist themes and i just really enjoy it and all all of it's in red um, i tapped a lot of things i really love amanda lovelace as an author i also got to meet her at some point this year um at book con so like i got it signed and everything which is super fun but yeah there you guys have it those are some of my favorite poetry manga and graphic novels that i read this year let me know yours down below um i'm not counting rereads or or else like i have a lot of repeats as of last year that would be on both lists so yeah if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe comment down below i'd love to hear from you as well as um i am I do have a feedback survey that I'd love it if you guys would fill out just for feedback for how my channel is going to go in 2019 and I would just love to hear your feedback on my channel and how I can improve and some new things that you guys want to see. So yeah, thank you guys so so much for watching. I'll see you super soon. Bye!